Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. Oh, yeah. Low attendance has Michael on the edge. Yeah, or I'll put Punky on the s the property. <laughs> then, just when it couldn't get any worse. Son of a bitch. A storm hits Sturgis. We'd have made a hundred grand a night. This <laughs> rain washes away Michael's profits. The rain just totally devastated his whole life. Meanwhile, the heat of Mike's partying gets out of hand. Hey, Baka! And ends in violence. He started it. He started it? He started it? Yes. I want to confront him in the morning, and I want to see if he's going to tell me the truth or not. Will Michael finally have to fire his friend? Tonight, it's make or break at the throttle. Tonight's always the big night when Jackal plays. Michael needs a packed house for the Jackal show, but nothing's going right. If it rains, it'll probably put us out of business. Customers are angry. So I'm right. going straight to the police station. Okay. Bartenders are cheating. Don't look at my car. And Jesse may not even make it to the stage. I need to get here, hurry! One week a year, the small town of Sturgis, South Dakota, welcomes half a million bikers. Welcome to Sturgis! And at the heart of the world's largest biker rally is the world's largest biker bar. It blows my mind that there is even a bar like this that exists. Riding to this place can be heaven, but running this place can be hell. This is the Full Throttle Saloon. For the second night in a row, heavy thunderstorms move in. Just as the crowd at the throttle is peaking, Hey, Michael, this is Scott. Um, we have weather coming in. Um, looks like two cells coming in from the west. We're still gonna get rain, probably some weather. Another rain out would doom Michael's chances of making up for earlier losses. It rained just enough to get keep people at home, get them out of here, and it killed our whole night. I'm <clears throat> depressed and hostile. I know you are. With tonight's profits washed away, the only thing that can save Mike's week is if Jesse and his band Jack will deliver a huge crowd tomorrow night. If you want to show tomorrow night, I better go get some rest. If it don't rain us out. Boy, if it does that, we're We only got three days left. We're at, you know, tomorrow's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's done. It's like you turn the light switch out. Tomorrow night's my night. You can have the other six days. <laughs> Leave me tomorrow night. What are you looking at? We'll fix and look at the damn weather. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, thunderstorms. Holy Unbelievable, ain't it? The morning provides a bleak reminder of the weather that's plagued the throttle for the last two days. Now I'm getting to the point I'm just discouraged as hell. When you lose two in a row like we just lost, and here we are in the third day, and the day being our biggest one with Jesse, with Jack on playing here, it's, uh, sucks. I was expecting to have close to a $200,000 day today, and that's gonna get knocked down to nothing. Michael's partner and Jackal frontman Jesse James Dupree is determined to make tonight's show happen despite the stormy forecast. 
Well, we woke up today to three days in a row of rain coming down, and uh, tonight's not the night to have that happen. Tonight's always the big night when Jackal plays. It's my New Year's Eve, if you will. It's something that throughout every gig, all year long, I, you know, people coming up to me, you know, we're gonna be back in Sturgis again. It's, it's like our annual pilgrimage to the Black Hills, and people from, you know, Jackal fans, bike enthusiasts from all over the country make the trip in here for tonight. Jackal has packed houses and sold millions of albums over the last two decades. And for years, on Thursday night of the Sturgis Rally, there's only one place to be at the throttle for Jackal. Doug, did you figure out how to get the flag up? The logo's gonna be up top, so you get the logo high enough. Yeah, I just don't want it hanging all day. Just right before we go on, we pull it down. his top end on about 8K and cut it back to 11 o'clock. Jesse wants everything perfect for tonight's show. Mm -hmm. But he can't control the weather. This storm needs to blow his rain. He's down there ready to stick a fork in his eye right now because he's sweating whether or not he's going to make his mortgage this year. Back at the office, Angie and Michael take a good look at last night's receipts. What did you think we made last night? I don't know, but we needed to make 80. Well, we made 69. If I lose today, it's devastating the business. I've worked my ass off on it for 10 years, but when you got a half a million dollars worth of mortgages hanging over your head, you know, that you got to pay every year, and it rains every day of the rally, I mean, what do you do, you know? I'm going to have to go talk to the bank and see if I can get through with the interest payments or whatever I need to get through with, and maybe if there's any buyers out there, call me. I'll be damn interested in selling at this point. I was expecting from the day in tonight to have a $200,000 day. Well, we can't give up. I mean, we can't just be all sad and sourpussed about it. I understand that it's disappointing that, that we're not making the money that we could have made because of the weather or whatever, but it's not the end of the world. Can you go tell my banker that? He'd be happy to hear that. You, you don't think that, that <sighs> we're going to make enough just to at least pay your mortgages? I don't think so. Not left or we're going to lose what we're about to lose today. Michael calls his banker to try to relieve some of the pressure. Hey, Lloyd, it's uh, Mike Ballard at Full Throttle. Yes. How you doing? I'm good, Mike. How are you? Hey, uh, not too good. Hey, I want to talk to you to see if there's any way that we just could pay the interest or try to figure out something to help us get through this year. My plan is to come in now and make some big deposits and, and knock out that first payment and then the second mortgage that we have, I just was trying to figure out if there was a way we could do an interest payment on it or try to figure out if it comes down to that. Hell, if we have a great night tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday, I'll just knock it out. Okay, Anna, call you within 30 minutes and get something lined up for a time, okay? Yes, sir, that sounds great. Thank you. Okay, Mike. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Yep. Then, it's off to help Jesse scare up more people for the big show. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. I know. How you doing, man? That's the thing about the throttle. You never know what you're going to see. You know, he doesn't charge to get in, and I'm able to throw the damnedest party ever, and I don't have to worry about somebody saying they can't afford to get a ticket. How do you think the rally's been going so far? Right now, the rally's been down because of the weather. Are you ready for the show? Who is not ready for the show? Are you show? ready for the show? Did you ever think that full throttle will blow up the way it has? You know, the brand is growing so rapidly, it's pretty incredible. It's Thursday, it's jackal time, isn't it? Tonight, what does it cost to get in here? Uh, it's absolutely free. You know, full throttle, we employ 300 people, 80% of, of the people come from this area. We're a big supporter of the community here. Tonight is a celebration of the people that bust their knuckles 40, 50 hours a week or more. That's called work, team. <laughs> Fajita Mike's been running the food concessions at the throttle for 10 years. But his late night partying is getting out of control. And it's starting to show up on the throttle's bottom line. What's up? So what's happening with you? Uh, I guess we got a little crazy. Five days we've been in business, you've been drunk three of them that I know of. Michael. No, I'm, that's the truth. You can't but deny Michael, that. But Michael, I wasn't. I got videotaped. Cameras don't lie. I watched you take a vodka bottle and drinking vodka straight. And I don't even drink vodka. Daylight. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, vodka. What the f is that? <laughs> I thought, well, you know. I mean, what really, I mean, truly, what is it? Three days of freaking binge, and you're out and supposed to be a manager over that place back there? Who'd you get in a fight with? Just some guy wasn't even supposed to be here, and he took off. Don't lie to me. That ain't what happened, Vita. How are you figuring that's not what happened? Because I done seen it. I seen it on a cell phone video. I know you will. I know you will. Right there, right there. I know you will, Fader. A cell phone video. Can do down there at the convenience store is the one you, that, you, that popped you. Cody. No. I'm going to go get him and bring him in here and find out if he's the one to hit you or not. He didn't hit me. We were just clowning around. That had nothing to do with me getting my nose busted and all that. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm really disappointed. I don't know what to do with you. I've been telling you every day when you get drunk, quit drinking, go to bed, and did just one ear out the other. I don't know. I guess just get back out there, and I'll try to figure it out. I'm sorry. Go on out there and figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll come see you in a little bit. Okay. Coming up, one bartender gets busted. She's pouring like doubles every time. With two members of the Full Throttle family in a feud. I think it's ridiculous think? not to do it. Will Michael have to decide between Angie or Jesse? I don't mind working with Angie, right. but she's going to have to be put in perspective. And later. How long have you been in the till business? A customer calls the cops. All I'm right. going straight to the police station. The Full Throttle's food manager, Fajita Mike has been up late drinking and fighting. He apparently got his nose broken, and now Michael Ballard wants to get to the bottom of things. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, so what happened with Fajita? Uh, who punched him? Is my, I mean, I just wonder who punched him. Um, what happened, turn up a bottle of Jack Daniels and uh, wipe my face on his jacket. Dude, what the f is he doing? And uh, he threw some ice in my face. Oh, hey guys, just like I see how it is, Fajita. See how it is. <laughs> and that was it. And that was the last that I seen him. I'd heard that you punched him. Oh, sir. I mean, my hands would be still oh, bruised tonight. Okay, he probably deserved it, but I let him. Let him go. All right, see you. Uh, I still haven't found out exactly who punched Fajita. I don't even think he knows. I think he was so plastered. You know, I don't think anybody punched Fajita. Man, he's so drunk all the damn time. Hey, Baca! I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't trip over his own damn feet and fall on his face. That's me. Have fun! I'll deal with it. I doubt if he'll be back next year. It's just too much drama and too much Full throttle, baby! <laughs> break in the bad weather has given everyone a shot of optimism. Realizing a big night is still possible, Michael pulls out all of the stops. We have some friends of ours from Los Angeles. How you doing, baby? <laughs> really good looking girls. So I'm bringing in about five or six of them to work the outside bar. Well, here's what I got. I got some girls in the cages, but I always want y'all to do this whole back bar. We're gonna set that thing off tonight, try to kick that whole bar off and make it happen. They're gonna, they're, she's gonna bring some girls tonight to work this whole back bar for us. So they're gonna dance, they're gonna do all the dancing. Easy, give me a whip, it's gonna be a lot. Y'all wanna do whatever you wanna do, yeah. just hammer it. It'll be fun. Even with so much riding on tonight's sales, Michael, Angie, and Jesse still have to plan out the rest of the rally if they're going to break even. So let's talk about the uh, Saturday night. I, I say we do a cover charge for I the locals. So. They're not going to be like, oh, $10, I'm not coming in. You're capable of pulling amazing out of your ass at the last minute, and I've always you know, nurtured it and, and been amused by it, and it's almost entertaining to watch how you're able to do it. But at the, but at the end of the day, I think I, I stand firm that it's just so much of what makes this throttle sexy is the no cover charge. I think it's ridiculous think? not to do it. By virtue of Mike and I being best friends, I inherit spending a lot of time with Angie. Initially, in the first six years of us being best friends, she was just Angie Land. She wasn't also Mike Ballard's significant other. I'm seeing Michael Ballard's wheels turning on. Well, people didn't really bitch that much, and I'm going to go ahead and start doing this every year. You know? 
I'm, I'm all about keeping the place free. <laughs> Next year, we've got to plan ahead some more, you know? I totally agree 100% with that. I know that Jesse has a lot of influence on Michael. With Jesse, we have, like, love-hate kind of relationship. Well, i got to have a good show tonight. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. I don't know what to tell you, honey, but I'm, I can't do this whole negative thinking I'm anymore. I'm not negative thinking. It makes me feel like, why the f did I even try? Hey, if I need you to work tonight, will you work tonight? Due to the bad weather, some of the bartenders have decided to leave the rally early. Yeah, but it's a big night. You'll make more money tonight than what you've made probably in three days. I mean, we'll get you a decent spot. Think about it. Let me know. Okay. Thank you. If Jackal delivers the crowd Michael's hoping for, he can't have people waiting around to buy drinks. Hey, where are you working tonight? I may need you tonight. Would you be? Will you stay over and work if I no, need I you? I'll stay tonight, tomorrow, night, all okay. night. I'll stay Thank you. Hey, so look, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, tonight we're going to set main bar, and then we need to go and set bridges, yep. beer tubs for the uh, concert. And I need you to keep all the main shift. I got Kimmy Cruz and that other the little skinny blonde under that one you deck said she may work. I need to ask these main girls in the front if they right. might want to work. And I know girls are quitting, but if we need to be calling people on the second shift come in early if that's the case. I don't want to have like one spot open because when I've got 25 registers running versus 17, I'm going to make more money. I'd just soon be full and have two sitting back here with nothing to do. Every bar open and running. Instead of focusing on the big concert. What's up? Let's walk out here for go to channel five. Jesse's hung up on his encounter with Angie. I just want to get on the same page with you about a couple of things, or about one thing specifically, um, when we were talking in the office. And you saw her get upset about it. From the time we've met, you know, I've supported everything that you've got going on. I just dig the energy of things that we do. I know. Anything. You don't have to explain yourself to me. I know. I get it. But her chiming in, all of a sudden now she's got ownership, and I don't mind working with Angie. Right. But she's going to have to be put in perspective because I already, I already got, got that. I, I got just, way more equity well, we're in this on the partnership than she does. We're on the same page. If she is going to continue to become more controlling and more of a factor in his business, I didn't necessarily buy on to be in business with Angie as well. She's 100% supportive of whatever I need. It ain't a me or her thing. It's just I, it's I, it's just I need there's a certain time I, that I'm just going to be your best friend. I know. And I at know. the end of the day, I concede she she you she wins. That booty of hers trumps. No, I don't. Jesse and I have worked on a lot of things in the past 10 years. It just feels a little threatening because Angie's coming into the picture. Of, look, there's not a competition. Me and your partners in whatever we're going to do, so don't worry about it. As far as that goes, we are, we're going to go do our business together. I just had to get this off my chest. I mean, I, I, and, and if we're going to make money, brother. I love you. All right, man. Well, I hate you had a bad year. As the crowd starts to build, the throttle rolls out its first surprise of the day. I started wrestling when I was 15. My whole family wrestles. <laughs> My dad is rock and roll Buck Zumoff. <laughs> Wrestled on TV with the AWA All-Star Wrestling. Some dads teach their kids how to fish or hunt. In our family, you learn how to wrestle. <laughs> Full throttle, we've got the bridges, you've got the upper bar, lower bar, so you gotta be like big. Bigger than life, and I, and I love that. They're a little bit racy, a little bit more vulgar out here. The US 69, baby! They like the boobies, they like it all going on, so I can I can be free. Anything goes in Sturgis. While the customers are enjoying the sights on the inside of the throttle, Michael fears the ominous sights he's seeing on the outside. Come on in here, boys. It's fixing to rain, ain't it? If it rains, it'll probably put us out of business. It's moving quick, but I hope it moves the hell out of here. Coming up, Michael catches a bartender giving away his liquor. She's pouring like doubles every time. And as Jackal gets ready to take the stage, a big screw up. Damn, y'all keep your together. That's cool.
stormy weather, quitting bartenders, and drunken employees are conspiring to ruin the biggest night of the rally. If it rains, it'll probably put us out of business. That's rain right there. Yeah, I'm already having trouble paying the mortgages right now and all the bills, all the labor and everything. We just can't afford to do it. It's moving quick, but I hope it moves the hell out of here. Chance of precipitation is 60%. I was looking at the radar, then I was mentally cloud busting. I wanted it to go away. It's my night. The weather's not supposed to be messing with me. Regardless, I got a jam. There's nothing I can do about it. Damn it. But all of Michael and Jesse's worrying isn't rubbing off on Angie. I really believe that, and I have to believe, that it's going to be OK weather. We have to have OK weather tonight. <laughs> Look at that. Taste the rainbow. That's fabulous. Yay! <laughs> The crowd at the throttle continues to grow, and they find reason to celebrate. Our daughter was conceived at the full throttle parking lot. <laughs> Before it was here. Right over here. Jen and Leroy are celebrating their 33rd anniversary today. Happy anniversary. Meanwhile, Angie and the rest of the flaunt girls are getting ready to shake things up for tonight's show. <laughs> Call me Tar, baby. I run the burnout pit. Rain or shine, the burnout pit is a crowd favorite. Bikers jump on their motorcycles and burn rubber until the tires blow. Bikers love the burnout pits. They love to get in there and roast the tires and raise hell. The more smoke, the more rubber, and then all of a sudden you become the big man on the block. We have a shop, and I actually sell them a tire. So every time I hear that pop and that crowd scream, I know I just made $275. We do a lot of tire changes from guys getting into the burnout pit. We've done probably about 150 or 200 cars this week. Basically, there's some bike sitting still, and you're doing 100 mile an hour. The tire's moving, but nothing else is. I mean, everybody's cheering you on. Keep shifting the gears, getting the crowd going. They try to see who can go through the most gears during the burnout. It's a rush. My legs started on fire, so I quit the first time because it was hot. I joke with everybody. I tell them that we don't have the tire and mess with them for a little while. So it kind of freaks them out a little bit, but we just kid with everybody. So. Sign it and hang it on the wall. There you go. Blowing a tire that you were going to blow anyway. Yeah. Can't put a price on fun. Michael's found a weak spot in his bartending lineup. One bartender out of position can overload a bar in seconds and cost Michael thousands in profit. Hey, Sean, who's the main bar? Which way? On this side, next to Brittany, between Brittany and Bill and the other girl as a whole. She is? OK, well, I just walked out of there. And there wasn't anybody in there. Hey, were you going to stay over? Were you wanting to stay over? You know? You know, you'd probably make about a grand a night. It's the busiest night we have. OK. We have 100 registers running, and everybody's wore the hell out. Hey, are you staying over? Oh, stop. No. And we're shorthanded on top of it. It's totally stressful these last couple of days. It is a nightmare for us. We've got to try to push this thing to the max tonight. Coming up, someone calls 911 from the throttle. Right. I'm going straight to the police station. OK. And Michael gives an employee the ax. I don't work here anymore, so you can take that off. Don't look at my car. And later, 
on the most pivotal night of the rally. A big fallop as the headliner takes the stage. <laughs> Rain has been threatening the throttle all day, but the crowds are still pouring in. Jackal will soon hit the stage. And Michael Ballard is praying for a big payday to make up for his losses. He checks in with his beleaguered food manager, Fajita Mike. Hey, we're behind on pizzas over here. Fajita, there's no pizzas over here at all. I know. I can't keep up, Michael. Fajita rocked it back there today. I mean, on the food, I guess they slammed back there. All right, come on. Let's make it happen. Pizza, pizza. Still, we're only two days where Friday and Saturday and rally's over. We'll see if we, we if he can make it that long without getting drunk and getting run off, you know. A bartender's been spotted pouring doubles and only charging singles in hopes of pulling in big tips. Yeah, I think we need to watch this yeah. one. Okay, we watched that one quite a bit last night. Did you? During the typical rally, generally we'll catch probably three or four girls a night that are heavy pouring. So there's a double right there, isn't it? We'll probably send somebody out to clean the register out and they'll be fired. Well, that should be 31. What's that on the side? $15. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. That was two doubles. She's pouring like doubles every time. We got another bartender. I have everyone filled. Is there one? Can another girl handle it? You sit right here. Let him control the controller. Y'all watch that when he shows you that. Text me. And I'll meet you over there. As Mike heads out to bust the skimming server, he runs smack into another problem. Right. What we What's up? Well, he says that he gave her a 50. Okay. She gave her a change for a 20. She doesn't have a 50 in her register. She didn't have a 50 in her register. 90. Yeah, he's calling 911. Here, you talk to him. You're the owner of the yep, bar? I'm the one. Hello, it's Mike. Yeah. OK, well, OK. Well, he just handed me the phone. Hold up. There you go. I'm going to six. Yeah. What I said was, I came up, I ordered the food, okay. I gave her a $50 bill. Okay. I, she gave me back this. The only thing I know to do is take this cash register with, to the office. You can sit there and watch them count it down, balance it, and see if it's over. Because if your money's in there, it'll be over, whatever that difference is. It'll be over the difference between the 50 and the change she gave you back, less the cost of the food. The ain't good enough for you. I need that, but hell, I mean, this is my employee, and she's saying that she didn't take it. But so we'll, I'll take this with you and watch them count the money. And if it Why comes do I out, have to wait for my money back when it's not my fault? Because if it ain't what happened, then I'll be short $30. Take that with her, go with her, she's going to try to figure it out for you. Don't ask. Michael needs to get to the sneaky bartender before Jackal hits the stage. I need stock like crazy. I'm busy and I don't have any more. You're, you're about to be busier. Because of the rain, these girls aren't hitting the numbers they wanted to make, just like we're not hitting our numbers, but they, they a lot of them revert to stealing from us. Hey, I'm seeing you out. I got you on camera. You're pouring doubles and charging singles all night long. No, these are sticky. The what? That's fine. They were just, they're all sticky. We I'm watching them. it. I'm, I'm watching on camera seeing it pour doubles and then like every time. Okay. So we're going to be done. All right. I'm the, I mean, if you had to pay for this liquor, it costs $200,000. You wouldn't be giving my liquor to people like that. Yeah. She's going to oh, run you down and show you the video if you want to see it, and then uh, we'll be done. I wouldn't have done anything to be that person. Do you person. understand what he was... Yeah, but those pours don't even work. And you can ask the girl that's up there. She had to do it all night, too. We would have to pour twice with those. But sometimes on the camera, we, we saw you pouring three times, too. They can zoom I don't right cheat in. anybody. We, I can show you on the camera. Recorded. It's marked. We can pull it up right now. You can watch it. Well, I didn't and do it to cheat anybody. I don't work here anymore, so you can take that off. Because I will see you. <laughs> I can't 
Don't look at my car. Coming up, Flaunt saves their best performance for tonight. It's like the whole Throttle family is coming together on that night to make everything happen. But for Jackal, <laughs> things go south before they ever take the stage. Damn, y'all keep it together. That's bullshit. Jesse and Jack will play in tonight. It's a total tradition here. We have people that literally come to Sturgis to see them play at the throttle. Tonight's very, very important. It's our biggest night. Now, let's introduce you to the girls of Flaunt. My favorite night to perform on stage is when we have Jackal. The atmosphere and the energy and everything that's happening there. There's a personal relationship there. Jesse's our friend. It's like the whole Throttle family is coming together on that night to make everything happen. What up? You ready to get it? I'm trying to get ready to get it. So the crowd's good? Yeah, yeah it's building. our jamming, too. We're, uh, they're drinking some it's alcohol. building. Still building. They're still, still coming building. off the highway, yeah. Every year for 10 years now, we've turned Thursday night into the annual celebration of the working man out there and for the full throttle saloon. Why are you surprised? I'm I not know. surprised. I'm just glad the rain's over with. I'll be ready for my bonus when I get off stage. All right. And God bless the Thursday night that we get to celebrate with the people out there, the 12,000 plus that pile in here to, to enjoy uh, what I like to refer to as jackal stock. Let me get dressed so I can go sell you some more liquor. Come on. What are you here for tonight? The goat accidentally takes the stage too soon. Everybody make some noise. Jackal! He introduces Jackal with Jesse still getting ready in the dressing room. Oh, both Michael and I kind of looked at each other like, oh, Go, All of a sudden, Jesse comes tearing out from the back, and he's putting his earpiece in, and his little butt's hanging out, and he doesn't have his costume on, and it was craziness. Well, rock me, roll me, jack on me up. We got us a party. What do you amazing on stage. There's a lot of things that I've actually learned just in the last couple of years performance-wise from him. When you get nights like tonight with them kind of crowds here, and that's that's the real true rally right there. It makes you feel good to have, see all them people have such a good time at the full throttle. It just makes it all the go away. I'm very attached to Jesse, so like when I see him do what he does on stage, I'm the first person that's going to send him the text. You did freaking awesome tonight. Jesse's such an asset to me, and he's brought so much to the table. I couldn't do it without him. Tonight we are celebrating not only 10 years at the Full Throttle Saloon. Tonight we're celebrating the working man. That's what we're celebrating. We're celebrating the economy. All these sons of bitches in Washington, they haven't been to Sturgis, South Dakota.
with the weather holding and the Jackal show well underway, Michael can finally relax. I love making our customers happy, and Jesse and them just kicked ass tonight. We sold a ton of beer, a ton of liquor. It kind of just relieves you to see them kind of nights and see that happen. Thanks for having us. Yes, sir. Did you have Thanks a good time tonight? Yes. Cool. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Good job. Good job. Thank you. That was awesome, wasn't it? Meanwhile, there's still one unhappy customer. Gave a 50 for a, a rib dinner and came out with $4 in change. I just don't want to be Your meal came to $15.60. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You gave her a $20 I gave her bill a $50 versus a dollar bill. There is no $50 bill in here. You did not give the girl that's up there work. Yes, I did. No, you did not. She I, I tell you Where's what, it at? Where's the thirty dollars? It's it. You know what? How long you been in the till business? You can, Here's your option. I will give you a twenty dollar bill, which you gave to us. Okay, Wait. you gave me back my twenty bucks, and All I'm right. going straight to the police station. Okay. And I'm filing charges. Okay. For stole my money. The till balance perfect. He gave him a twenty. He didn't give him a fifty. And then while they were down there, they found a bottle of liquor sh shoved down his. Uh, down his pants. You know, that's illegal in the state of South Dakota to bring liquor into a establishment that's selling alcohol. But it's just never ending crap like that. This place is chaotic. Michael continues to make his rounds. How are you doing, brother? It's a good night today, huh? Yeah. yeah Best crowd of the whole rally. Bro. Absolutely. Where's Miss Ange? She's running around. When are you going to marry that girl? I don't know. Come on, we'll see. So, up does jackal bring in the dollars michael needed hopefully we can get out of this thing and jesse cuts up the stage and brings down the house night six of the rally has been a huge success jackal has rocked the packed full throttle saloon and now it's time for the song that will keep them coming back it's called the lumberjack are you ready when you look out, you see 12,000 people that are just off the hook and out of control like that. I mean, God bless them. The stars aligned, and, and once again, it's just another sign that, that Jackal's living right, and the fact that we're able to, to have this annual night together with all of our friends out there in, in the Full Throttle Saloon can't get no better. I really enjoy watching Jesse. Seeing him when he takes the stage, it's like he transforms into somebody else. It's amazing. Just watching the faces. I mean, you just dive into the show. He's such a performer. Check the 
blows that Mike had experienced in the early part of the rally, we had to have that Thursday night to, to, to be pitcher perfect. Woo! That might have been the biggest jack on night we ever had. If all them bridges are packed, it's slam. I love you, man. Woo! Ah, oh, hey, killer. Big kick the ass. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. That's how you finish. Oh. <laughs> uh, Woo! That's badass, dude. Uh. We've had a really tough week. And if tonight would have been bad, bad weather, we would have we would have got cream. But everything kind of started burning off around five o'clock, and people came out, and Jesse kicked ass, and Jackal, and uh, they jammed it. We had a huge crowd, massive crowd. There's total numbers are going to be strong, and hopefully we can get out of this thing, you know, and, and pay the notes. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Holy cow, we got a tornado warning. It's the worst day in throttle history. It's hail. It's gonna hail on us. As an epic storm. This might be a tornado, for real. Rips the place to shreds. Oh, you're bleeding. We heard that there were deaths from the storm. The damage is so extensive. All the neon on the front of the bar, the stage, everything's completely busted. The throttle may never recover. Oh,